Hi guys, we're the 16-Bit Brothers and welcome to another episode of Masturbators. Today, we're going to talk about our favourite arcade cabinets from when we were younger. Also, we've got, we're joined by a very special guest again. Very special guest, yeah. Very. We say it every time that it's very special, but at this time, it's very special. And just keep it special and special. <laughs> yeah, do. It's, very, it's, it's very, very appropriate for yeah. the topic. Yeah, brilliant. The channel as a whole is very appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't have asked for a better special guest with a couple of Not for this appropriate subject. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a shame when you look in the bowling alleys now and there's just nothing no, there. No, there's nothing there. There's, there's, more, like, there's like a punch a bag, some there's always a dance machine. Dance machine, yeah. yeah. In fact, there's one near us that's got a Mario Kart. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. But, You've played that's, it, yeah, that's the, yeah. Is that's it Mario Kart? Mario Kart 2, I think it's, it's got. It's one you've not Mario Kart. Yeah, but what, um, <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what game is it? Um, I, I know it's probably... It's, it's Mario Kart 2. I think it's called Mario Kart 2. Yeah, but what engine is it running on? I think it's running on its own. I thought you were saying 150 cc. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I don't know enough about it. Actually, Link Morris, if he's watching it, he knows he's done it. As I said, yeah, I've seen some. What the, the two seat one? No, it's he's got it all like wired up. I don't know how he does the things, but he's got it wired up in his well, he's gear. He's a magician, isn't he? He's yeah. a magician. So okay. it's uh, it's brilliant. But yeah, he's got it. So if, if you're watching, like, can you tell us which one it is? <laughs> <laughs> um, I played a lot of my arcades in um, on a, a caravan site. Basically, we had a we had a caravan, a static caravan that we used to go away at the weekends. You were packing? Uh, no. <laughs> it was a back when, back when, uh, well, my dad bought one cheap. <laughs> He's, uh, he knew how to he knew how to fit. There was all the plumbing that were screwed on it. We don't want to know the number. You fucking. Anyway, he fixed it. We got it cheap. So, but they had a really good arcade. It was in. Ace arcade, it really was. I remember, I remember the feeling they used to get when I go into the arcade. You could see all the lights, and they're all. I just loved it. I love yeah. going around and oh, it's the smell of the place. It draws you in, doesn't it? It yeah. does yeah. its job. We went to Wales, and you, did you go to Wales? And there was a, there was a, there was a, a turtles cab there. A four, what four the turtles? Can yeah. the Konami turtles. Okay, can I have Canavan. Yeah, England. <laughs> England. 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 Wales, yeah. Canavan. Canavan. Turtles. Canavan. Yeah, do you remember us playing on it? Uh, there was a table football machine, yeah, there was a pool table, the car, and in the yeah. corner there was a, a Turtles, and then there was, I don't even remember what the others were, because we spent a lot of time on the Turtles one. Yeah, well, I, that's one of my favourites. Right? <laughs> so anyway, we're in Markham next to a power station. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's why he's like this today. Yeah. So why would you put a static car around <laughs> next to the power station? Honestly, you can take it anywhere you want. Bring a picture up now for the power station. Because there's I'll a power station. Power station. Yeah. I'll tell you all the details. Cool. No, it's Ocean Engine. It's in Haitian, <laughs> in near Markham. All oh, right. Uh, but anyway, um, oh, there, was a, there was an there was an arcade cabinet, and it was Double Dragon. <laughs> I had Double Dragon on the Master System at the time, so to be able to play Double Dragon in 8-bit form and then go into an arcade and see it in that form, it just blew my mind. It, it was, it was always so much better on the arcade. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That well, that's the time. time. That was the draw. That best was, yeah. were in the arcade. That's why the arcades were so... That's why people went into the arcades, because it was better. Yeah. It's not like that now. Never ever got anywhere near completing it. Uh, there are. It's always it worse. Solid as nails. That's why, if I could ever ever get hold of a Double Dragon or play a Double Dragon now in the arcade, I'd love to see how I'd fare now. I used to play a lot of the original Outrun, it was a stand-up car, it wasn't sit down, it just had the pedals at the bottom with a the, with the wheel, it wasn't a sit down car, and that was fantastic. I remember that. That was a um, really good arcade cabinet. Yeah, the music's brilliant on Outrun yeah. as well. Splash Wave and um, I can't think of the name of the name now. But fantastic, really, really good arcade cab. Uh, so if I could have two arcade machines, it'd be Double Dragon and Outrun. Those ones. That, that's one of your favourite questions to ask you on the YouTube, isn't it? If anyone ever does a Q&A, you'll find my question will be, what arcade cap could you have and why? Yeah. All right, go on, I've spoken enough now, haven't I? You've spoken to I'll more about the caravan. <laughs> <laughs> think everyone does. It's a great time. I think we're done now. But I did watch Chris Eubank and Nigel Ben fight in the caravan. What, what is your caravan? Did you get him to come down for that? <laughs> 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 no wonder you were right then. Is that what your dad told you? Yeah, there was the era when Chris Eubank and Nigel Ben were having the fights and the fights, I watched them in the caravan. There was two, was it two or three fights? 
They had a couple did two, I think. They were only cardboard. One was a draw. <laughs> were they both draws? <laughs> and then John, and what was he called? John Collins. The Irish guy. Phil Platten and both. Right, I, I didn't really play a lot of arcade at all, really. Um, well, I used to go to arcades, like we said, but there wasn't ever one that I used to go to no. all the time or anything like that. Uh, well, I remember, well, I remember one, and I can't remember the name of it, so I'm hoping someone out there will know what this arcade was. I was in Greece. <laughs> there, was one, there was one um, arcade cab there, and I absolutely peppered it all week, and it was absolutely brilliant. Uh, but I can't remember the name of it, and it was a, a side-scrolling shoot 'em up, and you were like a an army helicopter, so like a green helicopter going across, and it was a shmup. Oh, it was just like a normal was... shoot 'em up, so you go through, and then there's a boss at the end. But it was it was like a Vietnam yeah. helicopter. Right. An Apache. Yeah, and there is one called Apache, but I don't think it was that either. I couldn't find anything anywhere, so if someone knows what that is, that would have been. One of my picks, really. Well, it is one of my picks, but I don't know what it was. Um, but when went travelling, yeah, we were staying in a youth hostel, and it had a pool table and one cabinet in the corner, which was virtual tennis. Virtual tennis. And it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. It's two player. Um, you can be Tin Yeah. I don't remember uh, the rest Philip of them. Is. There was one Swedish guy that was well armed. I was always Tin Edmund and I thought Tin Edmund. I was always Tin Edmund. He was shit. It was really bad. It was really bad. I couldn't not be him because he was British. Yeah. And I these you got lot used to pepper me. Did you ever beat the oh, game? Yeah, on good single? spin. Yeah, good spin. No, we used to play on no, single as we well. Used to, we used to get to the last one and, and never be continue. And he never be in. He just damaged you at the end. Controls are so smooth on that. Oh, it's yeah. really, really good. Really it's responsive. Good. The Dreamcast did it's the same. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. Yeah. It's pretty much the same as the yeah. arcade. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's we played on that one. Yeah. On, on your last book. yeah, virtual tennis. We had some really good times on that. Mm. Was that in town or Australia? Australia. Australia. Sydney. No, it was in Melbourne. Could have been something else with the tennis balls in the tower. Ping pong balls. Yeah, they're not like. I'm talking about your mum, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, like Roger, uh, I didn't um, have vast experience on arcade machines. Um, like I said, it was more about the feel of the place, Nick Sandberg going and trying loads of different ones for me. It wasn't one that I remember standing out. But when I was a little bit older, I remember going into the ball or something like that and seeing that a Time Crisis 2 machine. Time Crisis 2. I think I think it's more to do with the fact you had the gun in your hand and it, it jolted when you fired the shots and stuff like that than the actual game itself. Because I mean the voice acting is terrible, isn't it? Hey right, Starline will unite the world. I don't think so. Yeah, so I think it's probably more of the, the pedal and the, the gun and just, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's, it's more an awesome that. game though as well. It, it, Especially when you've got you'd a part of it. Yeah. Well. I think what's coming clear is our era, our generation, didn't really play arcade machines, or did they? Not as much as like they did in the 70s and 80s. No, because ah. that's when it was big in the yeah. 70s and 80s, whereas our, it's we, had, home. we had, we had home consoles, yeah. didn't we? It was when, it was, it was, I, I, I played a lot of arcades, so obviously I was lucky because I, I hadn't spent a lot of time in arcades, but... Uh, That's because you holiday next to a power station. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I was always powering the whole arcade. But, but um, it was that crossover time, weren't it, where all of a sudden 16-bit got almost as good as like your side-scrollers and your shooters and stuff on the arcade. And then when the PlayStation came, that was the first moment for me like the original PlayStation Saturn N64 where you thought, hang on a minute, I don't thought, need to go to the arcade. I thought today. you said that your first one with that was when you played on your GameCube. No, it was definitely Ridge Racer on the PlayStation. Okay. Cue a clip of Danny saying, yeah, well, you can, GameCube. You can, you can, <laughs> you can do that. You can do it. When I got the GameCube and turned it on, I remember thinking, that's it. I do not need to go anywhere outside now to play. <laughs> but I remember getting the PlayStation, playing Ridge Racer, and thinking that it was very similar to Racing Games and, and Sega Rally on the Saturn. Very similar. One that stands out a lot, it's not my favourite, but one that stands out a lot, which took a lot of my pound coins, it was, pound coins. It was a new one, and it was Tekken 1. I 
an added bench on it where you could sit there and massive screen, two player. Uh, I was always Paul for some reason, just because I liked his red. Uh, I hated Paul. But I figured <laughs> out he had a move that you could kill someone with one punch. Does he like do that? It, it's like, yeah. it's one, one punch yeah. to the dead. So I used to do that on everyone and they cry. What I'm gonna go with for more nostalgic reasons is the Simpsons. <laughs> And it's very similar to the, the Turtles, as someone's already said. Um, I always used to be Homer. He had a bowling ball and stuff like that. He could knock people over. And... Was there three or four? There was Turtles, there was X-Men, and there was... There were all the Simpsons. They were all the same format. Yeah, they are the same engine, because every, every cabinet could be switched over. There's not long enough to walk in. Well, is really? Look, the Double Dragon is called... Double the Dragon got my dad in here. Yeah. My dad apparently had the, the high score on the... Not Space Invaders. That's probably... Asteroids. Yeah. Yeah. That's when it were his prime, when it were, oh, he'd yeah. probably go in there, like, get the high score and people would try and beat it. Our oh, gates were busy though, when we, you know, but it was coming to the end. You know, when you, you had Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat machines, yeah. and yeah. people were, you know, people queuing up behind people to play those. Yeah. So it, it wasn't dying at the time. It, that was well, the last. It was dying. That was Street the last. Street Fighter 2 yeah. was the one. Well, this, that was the transition. That was the, the end, the beginning of the end. But they were still busy then, you know what I mean? But obviously, you still everyone's played Pac-Man and Space Invaders and yeah. Miss Pac-Man and right. We've uh, rambled on enough. Uh, it's time for our special guest. How is it, Danny? We're really, really happy to have this channel uh, to talk about arcade cabinets, their arcade cabinets, because they're perfect yeah. for the subject. It's what they do. Yeah. Um, don't really need to say anything else. But if you haven't heard of this channel, I strongly advise that you go and check them out because it's. No one else is doing anything like it. No, um, they know the stuff. They really know the stuff and put a lot of work into the videos and a lot of work into doing what they do. Um, so Greg from Arcade Impossible is going to talk about his favourite arcade cabinets. What's up 16-bit brothers? This is Greg from Arcade Impossible. Um, man, you guys have a great question. What is my favourite cab? And it's kind of multifaceted. You have favourite cab from your youth favorite cab that you're most attached to and favorite cab that you just you are looking for every time you go out. So the favorite cab for my youth has to be hard driving because it's a racing simulator from the, the late 1980s and I remember every time I would see it out it had the clutch and everything you had to shift you had to turn the key to start the car it could stall out and just the fact that you felt like you're driving a real car was amazing to me as a kid obviously I hate driving now as an adult, but I love that game and I, I loved it as a kid. It was just amazing to me that it felt like I was really driving a car. Now the next cabinet that I'm, I'm the most attached to would have to be Donkey Kong, just because it was the first dedicated machine I've ever gotten. So I had to go through restoring it and uh, just doing paint and Bondo and working out issues with it not displaying the correct color. And it's a great game. I mean, most people will say that's the typical answer. I wonder if any of you guys said that, but Donkey Kong is just a classic and everybody knows it and it's really, really fun. Now my last game, this is the one that I am looking for the most out of anything and it's Robotron 2084. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with this. This is one of those games that every time I'm out on a pickup with Mike, you know, every time I, I've seen a, a Robotron, I've always offered people, you know, way too much because I really, really want that machine and every time people turn it down because when you see a Robotron machine, people don't sell those. And nobody sells Robotrons because everybody loves it yeah. and like and once they get it, like they don't get rid of it. You know, it's very rare that I even see them for sale uh, and it's just a great game. I mean, the difficulty alone, you have two joysticks, one to move and one to shoot in eight directions, just like Smash TV and it's just incredibly hard on difficulty 10 which is the max it can go it's one of these games that you can pick up for 10 minutes and just play and go through in 10 minutes you have just an awesome intense game um, and for busy people that's perfect and I just find myself coming back to it and you can see on Dig Dug uh, I have MAME that's my only real MAME in the arcade here I always end up playing this game because it's so rewarding in the short amount of time that you can play it and it's so difficult. But thanks guys, I can't wait to uh, actually watch this and see what your favorite cabinets are. There's a ton of them that are amazing, 
But you know, the multifaceted three answers that I have are hard driving Donkey Kong and right now the most sought after, which is Robotron. Cheers. Thank you very much for that, Greg. That was really fantastic. Really good. Well, well done. Fantastic. Well done. Well yeah, done. Great choice. Um, but I, I remember hard driving as well. It just reminded me about hard driving. Do you remember? Um, big steering wheel, and you used to sit in the car, and when you crashed the car, the car would the screen would crack and stuff like that. It's oh, a bit yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it was on the uh, then on the media. Yeah, I'm sure that it was on the media. You know, yeah. because stunt car race. No. Did anyone play Robotron in the arcades? No. No. I didn't as well because I didn't thought we might do, but no. I don't know whether it was massively popular over here or not. People uh, tell mm. us. Well, great choice, great game. Mm. Thanks again. As usual, it's a mass debate, so video responses are welcome. Um, we've got what, what were the last video? Sexiest girls in video gaming. Yeah, we've got, we've got some got, good responses. Got Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. So, so a half naked Woodley. Yeah, yeah. Well, totally naked Woodley. We are gaming in front of his Woodley. And you'll see it now. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. <laughs> We'd just like to say thanks for watching and thanks to all our new subs. We love all the comments you put on and all the likes as well. We uh, also have Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So get over to there and you'll see us all there. Yeah. I just want to mention our thousand subs special as well. It went down a treat, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, nice. Thanks for all your support. Um, wow. Yeah, it was brilliant. Really I think it got 800 views in two days or something like yeah. that, which is, I think it's our fastest growing video. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That's our most liked video. Most liked. Most liked. Oh, yeah. Video. Get sharing it because yeah. it's a great video. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you did put a lot of work into it, Johnny. Yeah. So, you know, it's fantastic. Oh, you and everybody else, again, that took part in it put a lot of work into it as well. So, it's definitely worth a watch. If you didn't, check it out. That happened, that's it. We said that. That's it. That's our end of that. We always end it stupid. We'll meet again. Don't know where. We can't. Don't just go go when. Come and turn that But I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Keep shining through just like you always do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>